Mm. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, it's this bag. I don't know where I end. It's all right. You got your whole uh, let's go Europe thing happening there. I understand. <laughs> URL pass, yogurt, get stone, see the end, Frank house. Sorry. <clears throat> Sit down. Join us. Have a drink. Hi. This is Mimi. We've Hi. known each other for, uh, what, five minutes? I think she's bored with me already. Well, thanks. Sure. Why not? Line up the snack bar is like an hour. Let me guess. Uh, English teacher. Let me guess. Agent. <laughs> Advertising. It's like agenting without the heart. Am I that much of a cliche? Hey, don't look at me. I'm just sitting here eating nuts. And I'm not a teacher, I'm a writer. Writer? That's what I started out at. I'm gonna make a living. I write for TV. TV, huh? So that uh, I'm so much better than you look. I saw on your face when I said advertising. I must have uh, must have imagined that. Maybe on his face you imagined it. I got nothing against advertising. It pays me, I guess. That's right. It does. What, what do you do again? I told you I'm with the National Organ Center. I'm in development. You gotta love that. I mean, she's in organ development. I can't do that. <laughs> she does this whole great speech on here that David Crosby gives, actually, about uh, transplants and stuff. It's pretty uh, pretty compelling. I read plays too. That's what I was doing in Chicago. Play mine open. Yeah, Thank what you. TV shows? Sure. Well, it was no big deal. It was a little theater. Oh, I'm here again next week. I love plays. What's it called? No, closed. It closed. Um, it was a limited... It was... It's called Lilacs in the Dooryard. I don't know why we have plays anymore. Hello, we got movies. Check a movie out. <laughs> <laughs> Not in here. Yeah. What's a dooryard? It's from a Whitman poem. When lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed? Well, yeah. <laughs> what is a dooryard? Oh, look, they just put sandwiches out. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Another line. You know, I think I'm actually gonna go check on my flight. You guys want me to check yours? Where are you headed? Oh, yeah. Dallas. LA. Dallas? LA. Oh, yeah, LA, me too. Okay, I'll just be back in a minute. Thanks a lot. All right. And, uh, thanks. You don't know what a dooryard is. This is what it is. You have no idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, this Greg guy better stick to writing TV. Did you read this review? Wait, they don't like something. They don't keep it a secret, do they? Oh, hey, we thought we'd lost you. So you're still on for 10. They say it's going to take off. Nothing for Dallas yet. Uh, yeah, it'll be tomorrow at the earliest. I bet the airport hotels are swamped. Hey, you know what? Why don't you take this hotel voucher? Room's guaranteed. I'm going to stick around here and see if something opens up. What, you took a bump? Hey, you know, two coach tickets anywhere in the U.S. or Mexico. Plus 200 bucks. I did this show down in Mexico, and I promised my kids I'd take them, so. Oh, 200 in coach. It's... What, I should have haggled? Oh, <laughs> he's pulling your leg. You did great. Tell my wife that, Abby. Just gave her the good news. Turns out I was supposed to work the Christmas tree lot with Scott tomorrow. I forgot. It's a father-son Cub Scout thing. You have any pictures? Yeah, sure. Oh, she's pretty. Isn't she? Yeah. Her neighbor Donna and Abby, they went to the mall and did these glamour photo things. How old are your boys? Scott's seven and Joey's four. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, Jesus, you're not taping with a Crosby speech. Oh, relax. I fast-forwarded. Crosby's fine. He's there. Okay. Here you go. Say something for the transplant uh, kids. Well, uh, save a life and become a donor. <laughs> Do what David Crosby said. What did David say? Uh, sorry I drank. Thanks for the liver. <laughs> we, we are here, for one thing, to celebrate the opening and the closing oh, no, of the please. new play, uh, When Lilacs, Something on the Dooryard. Right, and we're here with the author, uh, Greg. Greg. Janello. And I want to say that the critic for the Chicago Weekly Times is an idiot and an asshole. You read the review. I wouldn't know a good play if it punched him in the face. <laughs> and Abby, please, forgive me, huh? Yeah, please. I did it for you. Oh, I did. I love it. <laughs> Uh, that's me. Well, I'm gonna go to the men's room. So, it was great meeting you guys. Thanks for, you know, nuts and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. too, man. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice hanging out with you guys, okay? okay. Alrighty. Hey, good luck getting uh, wherever you're going. Two. Uh, good night. See ya. Well, if you ever get to Dallas. Hey, Greg. Greg. Hey. 
Go sell a Christmas tree for me. What? Go ahead, take it. You know, I, I want the layover, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, Mimi, organ development, video camera, think about it. It's incredibly generous, I just want to say it's that. It's a comp, it's free, take it, it's fine. Oh, it's, uh, it's... Hey. Hello, sir. I really appreciate it. Look, man, you do me a favor. You're you know saving I mean? my marriage. <laughs> you have no idea. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot. All right, All see right, ya. It it's great meeting you. Take it. You know what? Joey, apologize, all right? Say you're sorry. Can you do that? Can you do that for me? Say you're sorry. That's we are here to celebrate the opening and the closing, sadly, of uh, the new play, Lilacs, or something on your dooryard. That's and we're here you. with the author tonight, uh, Greg. Greg. Do you know <clears throat> And I would like to say for one thing, I am critic for the Chicago. Hey, that's my dad. I don't want to see that. This is Mr. Janella. Did you have a conversation with this man? Yes, I did. 